Today we're going to be field stripping and cleaning our Smith & Wesson MMP45 shield. We begin the process by removing our magazine, put it to the side. Next, we go ahead and pull our slide back and lock it into place with our slide lock here. And next, we will push our takedown lever all the way down. We will lower it. The next step is to disengage the sear lever. There is a small lever. I'm going to see if I can get a good shot of this. Alright, it is a greenish little tiny squiggly piece of metal. Normally, it is in the up position like that what we need to do is to take a tool and I use just a regular little screwdriver and I get hold of it and I push it down I push it down but just as far as it'll go without forcing it where it stops that's where I stop I don't for force it any further than it wants to go and as you can see it's in the down position like I said it's that little tiny green it could be yellowish in your model. I think they put them in different colors there, but it's going to be that little tiny L-shaped uh, lever there. So let's push that down the down position. Once that's in the down position, slide back all the way down, and then slowly pull it forward. And you have removed the upper slide from the lower part of the weapon. Now, from this point, you take your recoil spring off by this little plate right here. You just push forward until it comes off, put it aside. Then you can go ahead and remove the barrel from the slide. And here's our barrel. Now, I am going to use a boar snake which I have never used before so this is the initial run. Boar snake is basically a woven piece of cloth with a leader on it and the leader has got a metal brass weight on it. The boar snake, if you've never seen one before, has got bristles right here just like a regular uh, boar brush but they're woven into or sewn into the snake itself you put the solvent on the front part of the boar snake here. I don't have a spray bottle so I'm just going to dip it into the hoppies number nine. And don't want to get dripping wet but want it wet. And what this does is actually actually coats, scrubs, and dries the barrel all in one movement. Now you want to do this uh, in the direction of the bullet traveling. So the bullet goes from the rear to the front. You want to make sure that you always clean in the direction of the travel, or the direction of the bullet as it travels. And just pull it through. Like I said, the first part of this coats it with solvent. The second part, the brush part, will scrub. And the third part of the snake actually dries the uh, barrel out itself. I'm going to do this a couple of times. And like I said, this is a first for me. I'm usually a traditional patch person, but someone kind of convinced me to go ahead and try this. So I figured I would. Okay, let's just see how clean this barrel looks now. Okay, as you can see, that barrel looks pretty shiny inside there. And that's only with two passes of the boar snake. Uh, that so far I'm pretty impressed with the way that cleans so let's just go ahead and finish up with the rest of the weapon here. Now, since I'm not using patches I just use an old rag and I just lightly coat the rag with a solvent. Go over the barrel itself in the nooks and crannies just to make sure I get all that carbon in 
all that build up off of the barrel itself. Okay. I also, my personal preference is to kind of dry it off with a separate towel. I use a terry cloth, piece of a terry cloth rag. Just take off the salt, extra solvent. As far as the slide goes, I want to do it with the barrel down. And the reason I want to clean with the barrel, the barrel of the muzzle end down, that is, is in here we have our. Get a good look at it here. Where that hole is. Okay, we have our striker pin here. The if you can see that little hole right here in that section right there. That's where the striker pin is, and you don't want to get anything in there gumming that up to impede the uh, striker action. So that's why I do this with the barrel end down. So if anything starts to run, it's going away from that striker and not towards it, and not going to get in that little hole and gum anything up. So just go through the rails here. Cleaning your gun does not have to take forever, not unless you haven't cleaned it in a while. I try to clean mine at least depending on how many times I fired. If I don't fire during a month's time, which is very rare, then I would probably clean it a month. Just uh, I like cleaning every month, um, maybe two months, but I do go to the range quite a bit, so I try to fire or clean this at least after every second uh, visit to the range. I, I go through about um, 200 to 500 rounds of ammunition, uh, not, not per visit to the range, but easily within a month just practicing and uh, enjoying the sport of firing anyway and shooting anyway. Okay, we've got our got our slide taken care of. The recoil spring really doesn't need anything but I just go ahead and give it a little coat down just to get some carbon off of there if there's any on there. Set it aside. Now, lower part of our farm I really just kind of clean the rails a little bit. I uh, try and get all the little nooks and crannies in here. I don't want to, be honest with you, I don't want to get anything into the magazine in the grip itself. I don't want anything impeding the movement of the, the magazine if I'm trying to eject it uh, or trying to slide it in. I don't want anything that's hindering it. And I just kind of clean all this little area off here gently. You don't need to be forceful at it. I don't clean the trigger. I don't clean the trigger, trigger guard, or anything like that either. But uh, what you need to do though is you need to make sure that any place that has metal on metal, such as these areas here, that they do get cleaned. Okay, now. Towel, just kind of drop that off. All right. Now we're ready to lubricate, and we use lubrication sparingly. We don't want to gum it up. Use a bunch of grease, bunch of oil, and have it dripping all over the place. So I just put a little, couple of drops of oil on a rag, such as that. And I'm going to start with the slide itself. I'm going to lubricate lightly the inside around the barrel and on side and around the ejection port okay now I also want to put a little lubricant in between here now um, Smith and Wesson has seven points of uh, they recommend for lubrication using just a small drop of oil A couple of those places are the rail here, just one drop each. You don't need a bunch in there. Another place I recommend is here, and put a drop on the barrel itself. And I just use my fingers to just rub it around it because the barrel, this this section of the firearm has a lot of uh, metal to metal contact and movement. We want to make sure this is uh, lubricated properly. You may want to, they don't, they don't 
say not to, but I just put a little bit on the recoil spring just to kind of give it a little coat of protection there. All right, now we can go ahead and reassemble a farm. Start by inserting the barrel into the slide. Now, you're going to put your recoil spring in. If you can see, there is a little tiny notch right there. This portion right here, this portion of the recoil spring will fit into that. Just take your thumb, push it in until it gets it seats in that little notch. It'll feel secure. You can you can tell if it slides one way or the other, pulls out easy. Uh, that's not improperly. So once that slide, it was that slid into place, and your recoil spring is tightened there, the top part of your firearm is done. Next, gently slide, push the slide on, pushing it all the way back, and locking it with our slide lock. Next, we go into into our uh, firearm here and push the lever back up. The sear the sear lever has to be pushed back up. Now, I do it with my finger. Actually, once you insert the magazine, it will push the th the sear lever back up on its own. But I like pushing it up myself. Once that's pushed up. Go ahead, flip your takedown lock lever up back into the up position, slide back, fire, and I would go ahead and just do about 34 times just to get that oil worked into the uh, rails there. Fire again, and you have just now field stripped and cleaned and lubricated your Smith & Wesson M&P 45 shield. Now we have one last, one last thing to do and that is with the magazine. And basically all I do, I don't lubricate, don't oil it, I just wipe it down and then I'm ready to reload it back into your weapon. You can put one in the chamber or not, or whatever you feel comfortable with. And you have just now cleaned and lubricated your weapon and you're ready to go out and fire again. Thank you for watching.